Hello everyone, if you're part of my nail crew, welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. In this video, I will be showing you first all the items that I'll be using for this set. And of course, I'll make sure to leave all these items in the description box in case you're interested. So as you can see, I already have my peel of base coat on and I'm going to show you how I apply this tip. After placing all my tips, I do a full cure for 60 seconds in my UV LED lamp. And now I'm going to cut this nail's tips a little bit shorter and I will be changing the shape of them from square to a stiletto and I'm going to show you the entire process on how I do this. So when I'm shaping my nails, I do use both my e-file and my hand file just because my e-file helps me with speed but my hand file I feel more in control and I'm able to get a more of a straight tip using just my hand file. And this is what the nails look like so far. Now it's time for some base coat. This is the poly gel that I'll be using for this set. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find it, so you will not see this product on my description box, but I am showing it to you in case you're able to find it at some other website that I have not seen yet. Um, I just wanted to say that when you're doing nails this long, um, you want to make sure you have a good and healthy apex. That way, it will prevent the nail from breaking. Also, always remember, the better your application, the less filing you have to do. So, when you're using a poly gel that is this soft, you always want to make sure you are securing those side walls and making sure it's not lumpy or anything because, like I said before, 
the better your application, the less filing you have to do. So because this is uh, this design is so repetitive, I'm only going to show you the process on two of my nails. So I'm gonna try to explain as much as I can. When I'm applying the first bead, and you saw I dragged it all the way down to the tip of the nail, I do flush cure it to make sure it doesn't move, and then I go ahead and place the second bead on my cuticle area, making sure it doesn't flood my cuticle, but also uh, I try not to pat it too much because that's going to be pretty much my apex bead. So here my nails have been file shaped and buffed and now I'm going to start applying some pixie crystals and the way that I do this is I start using this uh, gems uh, or rhinestone glue. I do one coat of this and then on top of that I apply some top coat 
and then I just pour the, the crystals on my nail. Listen, friend, before you decide to apply your rhinestone glue, please open the pack. Don't do what I just did. I struggled so much trying to open the freaking pack, but hey, I made it work. Now it's time for some top coat. But listen friend, don't think that just because I'm applying some top coat now, don't think that this design is over. I still have some other gems placements to do. So every time I'm going to play with gems or charms, this is the rhinestone glue that I prefer. And I do want to advise you that if you're using charms or if you're using big gems, you flash cure them so that they don't move. So friend, just in case you're thinking, why is she using so many gems? Well, listen friend, I have what, what it's called an addiction. So I have a lot. And when I do say a lot, I have a lot of gems. And I only do my nails, so I might as well use them for myself. This pink is so beautiful. I was going more for a sort of a Barbie look uh, but I don't have any Barbie decals, so I'm just gonna call them my Cardi B nails. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this set. Thank you so, so much for watching, friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.